All right, uh, amazing. I think the recording is on, we can start. Good afternoon and uh, welcome to this session. This is um, a session at UTJ, uh, University Job uh, Program at Ten Academy. And my name is Emilia Jiwa, uh, I'm the community manager at Ten Academy. So uh, we have a session around upgrading your LinkedIn profile. So um, without further ado, let's just uh, go ahead and see. Uh, first of all, we need to know like what is LinkedIn uh, for people maybe who doesn't understand. Like I understand, like some people, it might be the first the first uh, time to hear about LinkedIn, or maybe you haven't heard about LinkedIn. But yeah, uh, so LinkedIn is the world's largest online professional networking platform. As you can hear, like uh, Instagram, there's Facebook, there's Telegram. So LinkedIn is one of them, but this is a professional networking platform. So um, host the uh, profile of more than 1 billion users. It's really big and in more than uh, 200 countries and territories worldwide. So it serves as a recruiting tool for employers and also serves as a job tool for users. Um, why do we have to have LinkedIn? Like why LinkedIn per se? So LinkedIn profile is an important part of your job search process as you, you, you've seen in the, in the uh, career challenge. So it plays a key role in different ways. So it's a key platform for application, first of all. It's a key platform for employer review as well. It's a key platform for professional networking opportunity. So that means you need to have um, LinkedIn for you to connect with other professionals in different settings, in different uh, parts of the world, different countries. So LinkedIn is really, really important when you're, um, you, 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 you're leaving your career, or maybe you're, you're uh, transmitting to your career, or maybe you're starting your career. So you get a chance to connect with people, specifically in, in, within your career. You, you get a chance to to access uh, some uh, companies, to access, um, even companies to access you, to see your profile, to see what, what you have done, your experience, and so far. And then um, your LinkedIn must have some uh, different uh, things one of one of it, it should be authentic and then attract the attention of the right people when we say right people like who are the people you're looking for are you looking for a job do you have a job maybe you're looking for a network people to network with people maybe within your career and and so far are we together uh abram just want to make sure like um uh, um we're all on the same page. No, I'm fine. All right, amazing. And then uh, you're looking also. All right, amazing. And maybe continuing, uh, your LinkedIn must also be uh, accurate and consistent with your CV and portfolio. And then uh, must be easy for machine led system to review and collect information. Uh, what you should know here. Um, ma ma most of the recruiters, most of the companies, most of the NGOs, they use uh, machine uh, systems, or they use systems to recruit, systems to collect information, system to, you know, and uh, of course, it's also obvious, like uh, this AI, so there's, there's a lot of things going ahead within the background or within the, uh, the, behind the scene when it comes to uh, employment process, when it comes to recruiting. So you, you, your LinkedIn should be more easy for machine-led systems to be reviewed and to, to collect information. And it should, it should also be updated the current updates. That means like if you, you've had uh, maybe, um, you've got a certificate today, maybe you've been having this training and boom, so far you, you, you've had the certificate, you need to upgrade or you need to update your LinkedIn profile. Uh, your LinkedIn should also have all sections complete and well approved by someone that you really trust, maybe by your your, your career guidance, maybe by your your um, anyone that you you, you think maybe um, might have more experience, or maybe someone in your career, something like that. Yeah. So getting started, like this is the top matters. You you LinkedIn should be looking like this. This is one of the example. This is a, a Ben Bekele. You can see is a generative AI engineer. There's machine learning software engineer. There's um, uh, Machatronics, there's applying here. Uh, you can see all information. There's contact information, 
is where uh, he's working from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. You can see where he's working. He's working for Job Leeds and, 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 and Ten Academy. So your so, so profile yes, should have. Is not visible. There is the page a... you are reading is not visible now. Oh, you can see the screen? Yeah, yeah. Now, okay. Okay, amazing. Amazing. So um, your profile should have a professional picture. When we say a professional picture, like a picture that is really professional, uh, you don't have to put maybe a picture you have like uh, um, ribbons or no. You should, you should just stand out as a professional person because this is your professional uh, profile. Then name as on your CV. Of course, your, your profile should also match with your CV. This is really matter. Then um, ideal headline, job title, a very proposition, tools that you use as well. You can see maybe uh, so far we have a professional picture. There's uh, his picture, and then there's name as on the CV, Abel Bekele, I, ideal headline. There's a headline, creative AI, and blah blah blah. So your profile should also have uh, should be also optional. If you do not have any prior experience, you can add uh, words like aspiring or seeking. There's kind of words that you can use if you don't have like uh, experience. And then um, one that you shouldn't forget, check other boxes, location, contacts. Uh, you should also look on, uh, look about uh, uh, the banner, like uh, the app banner for your profile. Maybe if you're into uh, digital marketing, you can put up some, some design, some good design to look really good for people who will be looking up to you, yeah uh getting started about like how what it's really, really about um had someone joined uh you're welcome june uh change uh, like we just started this decision but i think you pop up just uh talking about how you can open how you can update your linkedin profile or the contents and uh, everything all about the new profile so far we we've started this for your information um we have seen like uh why is linkedin we've seen uh, linkedin is an online uh, professional networking platform it's um it have like more than one billion users and then serves as a recruiting tool for employers but also as a job tool for users but also why do you have why do you why should we have a linkedin profile it's a platform for applications for employer review professional networking opportunity as well so um you really should should have or uh, should be authentic attract attention of the right people accurate and so 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 this is where we are like uh getting started in the top matters we've seen a professional picture name as on your cv ideal headline like job title and proposition tools that you use are your skills and so far is optional if you really want to do this if you do not have any prior experience uh maybe you can add words like aspiring seeking uh impacting or something like that yeah so this is what matters like getting started um you should also uh have you should also ensure that your profile includes the 50 word summary details about the skills platform and tools that you uh you profess with then consider using active voice and ensure proper use of tense it should, it should be grammatical like really uh grammatically correct uh, or grammatical accuracy yeah so as you can see as an example like this is about uh, Bekele our uh, the example that we have here uh, like uh, a junior generative AI engineer with a fond uh, foundation in computer engineering including uh, proficiency in back-end development cloud computing database design and around everything so you can see how this uh, this person or this uh, Bekele has uh, studied his profile his introduction and everything, which is more captive, captivating to uh, employers or people who would be looking to maybe to connect with him. Like this is about also this. This is also another example. Uh, if we go on, there's also what to ensure as well your experience. This page was about about then the experience. How should you how 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 do you uh, uh, list your experience on your LinkedIn profile? You should ensure. Uh, your experience have consistency with your CV, like it really aligns your CV. What your CV says or what your CV talks should also be the same on your LinkedIn profile. Have at least three roles and relevant 
work experience, then can list uh, can list complete employment history, including any freelance volunteer, anything you've done, like as experience, maybe you have done a volunteerism, maybe uh, you have done um, a freelance, maybe you've been working as a part time, maybe you have been anything as experience as, as your professional experience should be listed there within experience uh, option within, within our experience part. Welcome, um, uh, Mephin. We have started, but I think you, you'll be able to catch up. Yeah. So here also, um, the what the, uh, the things that matters on your LinkedIn, uh, on LinkedIn profile, we have seen so far uh, your about, your introduction, uh, this experience, how should you experience, and what you have to ensure to have on your experience part. Then there's also education. When it comes to educational part, you have to ensure your profile, uh, your LinkedIn profile, or your education part should consist with your CV. The names, the date should be included. The uh, GPA, it's optional actually. You should also add skills gained in the event uh, or experience in the event. Uh, maybe if you 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 had like masters there, there, and there, you should follow all these uh, lists for you to have a well appearing or a very good uh, LinkedIn profile. Then um, on a Ten Academy, add a link to your Ten Academy profile in the description. This is about I think uh, this is about um, um, the career challenge. Yeah, I think you have read uh, within your emails they have sent you where uh, all about the profile, the LinkedIn profile, and everything. All right. So going forward, also. Um, when it comes to project, maybe some projects that you you, you have uh, you have participated in, maybe projects that you you have um, uh, contributed in, you should also ensure with when it comes to this part of project, you should ensure that it's clear and a concise uh, title for each project. Describe each project detailing uh, detailing the problems you addressed, the models and algorithm you developed, maybe and the results of your work. You should also list the key skills and the tools you, uh, you employed during the project. If you have you are you have worked maybe on a certain project, maybe it's um, developing something. You should list all the skills you got, or like everything when it comes to that project. We can have here an example of the Kellen. You have seen the project here, one of the project contract advisory um, ORG system. Um, at Ten Academy, you can see the descriptions, you can see the, the skills, the GitHub, there's everything like there as he listed. So this is how your uh, LinkedIn profile should be listed when it comes to the project that you, you, you've participated in or project that you have contributed in. Yeah. So going forward, um, as a disclaimer, as you start creating or editing your experience and education, please turn off your notification until you are ready to launch or you, your connection will be notified about every little change you make. So it looks like this. For example, maybe if you're going to edit, if you consider going to edit your, your, your LinkedIn profile, you should make sure your notification is turned off because uh, you will change something and then when you save, all your network will be, will be uh, notified. Maybe you haven't uh, finalized or you haven't uh, uh, completed your edits, then you have saved that means like your you, your network could be notified about uh what you have changed and maybe it will be half or not done yet so you should make sure you notification part is turned off until you have uh, uh you have confirmed and launched your edits i think you were together yeah so others uh get verified remember to include your recognitions and award if you have one it makes more well uh, rounded profile and uh, poster your credibility, incorporate a verified certificate sections. If you have request recommendations, you can request recommendations to from people that you know, from people you have worked with, maybe from your lectures, from where your career managers, anyone that you think maybe they can recommend you. you should request recommendations, maybe on certain skills, on projects, and they can write a recommendation. This also we call, this will also help you to to increase uh to increase your network to increase the chance of getting employed or the chance of you know uh being approached by people who would be willing to network with you or maybe employers yeah uh 
Yes, this is a question. The screen is not visible. Can I make sure maybe? Uh, okay, let me check. Yeah, no, this page is not visible. I don't know. I don't know. You are sharing the slide, yeah? The screen sharing. Yes, sure. I was sharing. Okay, let me. No, let me now it is hidden. Now it is hidden. Okay, let me let me share it again and pin it up there. Can you see the screen then? Okay, yeah, visible now. Amazing. Okay, let's go ahead then. Um, I was talking about the recommendation, like uh, you should request recommendation, then also take a skill assessment, this skill assessment uh, option there on the LinkedIn, add links to relevant sites, like your blogs, your online pro uh, portfolio, or maybe other platforms that you think people, I mean, you want people to, to reach also. You should also grow your network and connect with people in your industry or your targeted companies. And of course, uh, that is it. So let's check on the, on the uh, challenge. Uh, let me share another. Another tab here. Uh, the challenge here I have um, more information. Hope you see. Okay. So here is the the introduction of the uh, of the the challenge. So having a professional LinkedIn profile is crucial for job searching and building your network. It allows employers and recruiters to see a detailed review of your work experience, education, and achievement. I think we have talked about that. Offering more insights than a typical two page CV. You know, most of people like they have like two page or maybe one page, so you can't have every information. So your LinkedIn profile will help you to provide more information about your professional. Yeah. So the LinkedIn, LinkedIn is often the first place employers and recruiters visit to understand your professional background. A well-optimized profile acts as a digital business card or establishing your credibility and helping you connect with potential opportunities. So with millions of users as well worldwide, you can connect with anyone that you want. And maybe you need to know, you need maybe to see someone's experience or something, maybe LinkedIn will be the first and that you can you can get all the information yeah so a powerful maybe as a recap a powerful profile you should uh or can improve your visibility to recruiters act as a portfolio of your skills projects and experience help you build a professional network across industries position you as a thought leader by sharing content or insights so a professional linkedin profile checklist you can use the career flow here extension when you come to this uh I think you can access this document. If not, I will share the link right away. You can check the career for extension uh, for you to see uh, the LinkedIn profile like checklist. Yeah. Then uh, with the link here, the checklist that we have seen the, in the slide earlier, there's a name, there's a headline, there's a banner, uh, the pro uh, uh, profile, uh, link to your portfolio or website, address the contact information, recent employment and education that should have this and this and this and this. I think we have talked about that. The professional summary. The professional summary should uh, should uh, reflect uh, the 30 word summary in your CV. And it can include more information like maybe links on your know, portfolio, medium, um, and other real information. To, the professional summary should talk more about you. Like it's, it's, a, it's like your bio, a very summary, summarized bio about you. Then your experience, talking about experience, where you have worked, which company, the skills you gained, and everything, the educational, we've talked about that, the award and recognition, if available, should also add that, the project. Then here, you will also find the detailed uh, guidance, how you should, uh, if you don't have a um, uh, LinkedIn page so far or LinkedIn profile so far, this is a detailed guidance on how you can have one. So you have to build your LinkedIn profile to reflect your personal 
brand and the professional strengths. So if you don't have, you can just come on this link. If it's this link, you click join now, and then you will follow uh, the options until you get uh, your profile set. Yeah. So this is things that you have to do. There's explanation here, the, pro, uh, the profile photo and the banner, how you can use it. You can use Canva if you want to design a very good um, profile banner. And then uh, the summary about uh, the about section, write a compelling professional narrative, your career, your achievement, and your goal, add links to relevant projects. If you have the experience, you should focus on measurable achievement using the XYZ format. Like I did X by doing Y, recruiting in Z like that. Yeah. Uh, then skill and endorsement. If you have uh, some endorsement, you should also uh, request for recommendations. We have talked about that. The education and certificate, the volunteer work and the projects. If there's maybe any project, there's maybe any cohort, this program that you have attended, probably even this one, you should also update uh, after getting the certificate after the graduation, you should also um, update your LinkedIn. So the variables here on this um, on this uh, challenge, on this assignment, uh, by the end of this task, you should have an optimized LinkedIn profile that reflects your professional journey and future ambitions. Then your profile should meet following criteria. This is what we will be looking at after you have set uh, each and everything about your profile, uh, the, your LinkedIn profile. So we will see if your profile photo and banner image is set up, clear and engaging headline, well-written summary or about section. We should also see, we will also see the, the detailed work experience using XY format uh, where applicable. Then skills, skills, if you, you have, please add these endorsements. If you have, you can update uh, at least two recommendations if you will have, but this is optional. Then a project and a volunteer work. If you have maybe wanted somewhere, anything that you have done, professionally, you can still also add it. We'll be looking into that. Then uh, the submission, of course, as we know, the submission is on Sunday, uh, all the assignments. So this is optional actually for the career, career um career challenge is optional um then uh, you should take a screenshot of your linkedin profile uh the top matters as we have discussed in the session I mean the, on the slide about education experience and other relevant sections should be on separate slides and then you submit your slide as a pdf on 10x by sunday if i'm not right yeah, it's sunday actually the submission deadline so the reference uh, you can use the following LinkedIn profile for inspiration. We have Mubarak Hussein, you have Abraham Lincoln. Mubarak Hussein, this detailed work experience and the project. You see, you, you can refer to this one. Then um, for Abraham Tisfaye, a professional uh, and tools mentioned in the title. Henok Tilaye, recent recommendations. Then Lillian, uh, experience descriptions. If you want to look up something about the fully completed profile, uh, please refer to the one that we uh, we using the in the slide a very uh, better yeah so additional recommendations that you should also uh, consider for your LinkedIn profile set a career objective in your summary that clearly state your short term and your long term career uh, goals to align your profile with the type of jobs you're seeking then optimize for the framework then uh, track your profile views if maybe um people who are viewing your profiles maybe are they employers are they maybe people want to connect with you know how your profile is working leverage linkedin learnings if you want to learn if you can add any complete linkedin learning like certifications to your profile to demonstrate continuous learning so so far that's it for the um linkedin profile if you have any question please go ahead Receiving questions, I can see um, uh, June, Yadukunda from, oh, I guess you're from Rwanda, from, according to your name, Makuya, Chigari with agenda. Hello? Yeah, go with agenda. Yeah, um, do, do you have any question about the uh, LinkedIn profile? Maybe if you can also share anything about it. Like, how is it? How is your profile like set? Do you think uh, you you put something in the session? Follow up. 
on, on the ask uh, on Sunday when is the due time? Is it evening our our time or maybe yes, I don't know how <laughs> you can let us know. And about the, the LinkedIn, I haven't worked on it. Maybe I can uh, yeah, work on it uh, following your guidance and then we'll see how to do with it. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, on Sunday, the submission I uh, can see on, on, on our schedule, on our notion schedule, it's uh, uh, 11 p.m. That means in this. Uh, Nisa, uh, Nisa, 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 we can do that together. I can present. I can see. Uh, present. Let me let me check if I can access my LinkedIn here. Then uh, I show you how we can update uh, your banner. But first of all, uh, consider uh, designing your banner. Maybe I can show you example of my LinkedIn. If I'll be able to log in, but before logging in, let me just check here on the uh, yeah. So you can see, I, I think you can see my screen, right? Can you confirm? Yeah, we can. Yeah. All right. So uh, if you can see here on uh, uh, Bell Bekele's um, banner, you see how it is, it's really clear, like. It states his name uh, and then uh, generative AI engineer and then the email. So you should also design your, your, your profile banner in the way that you should have a very clear information that you want to you want people to see. Maybe if it's your number, if it's your name, it's, it's maybe anything that you want to see, but it should be at least uh, not more than um, not more than at least 10 words. If it's one sentence, if it's names and with contacts, it, sh it shouldn't be a lot of things. Yeah. And it should also have like a very good um, background or maybe a picture with it. Let me check if uh, I can be able to log in. Amazing. I think I'll be able to log into my LinkedIn. Probably I can uh, share the screen. Give me a sec. Let me share. Um, we also have another session. We have an open uh, open session uh, in a few minutes. I think you you know that. I think it's in like twenty two minutes. Okay. So I think you can see my screen. So um, maybe if I come on my profile. This is what you should be seeing on the profile. You can see uh, like how I stated my my um, mailing. So it's, you just have to edit here. You see this stuff. The person who asked about like um, editing your your banner. There, if, if you open on your, on your profile, you'll be able to change it here. So here you can see like I can change. When you tap here, you can change the picture. This is like my old like profile like. Uh, you see, it have my number on the digital marketing like that I used to do before. Um, then you can see um, my professional uh, uh, summary here: community manager at an academy. Uh, but what I do and skills, what, what I'm passionate about: work, uh, work uh, building uh, Africa's workforce and creating pathways for young Africans to secure relevant opportunities and make change communication but like this is how to so if you want to change your your banner this is easily how you have to do it just tap there up there when you when you're within your uh liquid profile and then you'll be able to change it from here hope that uh, helped okay so let's go ahead if there's uh, any other question i think we have like nine minutes Kind of left. 
we can end the session. Is there any, any other session? Yes, we are. Okay, uh, thank you for your uh, nice uh, clarification regarding uh, LinkedIn. Uh, we all know the, the, the using LinkedIn, and uh, we all uh, more, more, more of too many people, uh, including me, have uh, LinkedIn accounts, and we are using that for uh, better and improved uh, application. I think we got uh, too many pointers. Maybe. Uh, regarding uh, some page especially about on uh, profile uh, i don't know the possibility to use a hyperlink google uh, too many times it is my question you see uh, uh, in order to uh, write our biography or about we may have mm -hmm. too many uh, backgrounds or regarding an academic issue or some other certificates or awards but uh, uh, we can't upload or we can't write all uh, those uh, issues but is it possible to use hyperlink uh, google hyperlink for in order to uh, uh, save uh, areas and some another issue this is my question okay amazing that's that's a very good question thank you so much Diana. yeah you, you can use that but remember nowadays the, with this world People doesn't have people doesn't have a lot of time to spend on people's things like your profile. Maybe like suppose maybe you applied uh, within a position and uh, like uh, on that position there is like two hundred people applying to the same position and everyone have their profile set and their CV and everything. Do you think the recruiters would be more interested to go deep and touch on your hyperlink to go read what you have put there? I think it's more good. And if you put, you summarize everything that you have in a very few words that can be able, that uh, the viewers or viewers can be able to highlight everything about you in, very, in just a very short way. Then uh, other thing would be maybe highlighted within the details. Uh, your project, maybe uh, education, if it's about education, you can put more, uh, more details within uh, the descriptions. If maybe it's, it's an experience you have worked, you work maybe here or there. You just the summary there should be uh, at least um, summarized like very few words. Then another thing should be there. You can highlight everything in the details there. So if it's a recruiter, if maybe this person wants to connect with you, if they are more interested or more interested to go deep, they will go read there. But the summary there should be very simple and very clear and as good as possible okay thank you amazing so uh, i think um we can wrap up the session but um in case we have any more session i mean any more question you can still reach out to me uh on slack i think um now we can end it from here then uh the recording will also be shared in case you want to come back to listen to this and then um, and the session, I mean, the slides will also be shared uh, to you. Yeah, so other than that, I think we can wrap up. Have a very good evening. Meet again in the open uh, session in uh, around 18 or 20 minutes starting. Now. Bye, have a good evening. Same with Shorter.